Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From the Divine Tarot. We're Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. As you know, it's a timeless read and I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders because it's all energy anyway. Um, I was getting a download just now about um, King Richard III when he was on the battlefield and he's, he lost his horse. His horse got uh, injured or killed. And she screamed out, my kingdom for a horse. Now, I'm picturing this as somebody gave up their kingdom, maybe their um, immortal soul for something as, you know, small as a horse. I'm not, I'm not saying the animal's not important, but maybe a car, a vehicle. They gave up their kingdom for a horse. You know what I'm saying? Um, bad move on their part. Okay. I'm going to skip the spiel. You can change the genders. You can change the roles throughout the read. Just know that, okay? Just remember, it is a t um, collective reading. So there's thousands of people here. You have to use your higher wisdom and discernment. There's a lot of different energies. Not every read is going to be for you. That's the only thing I really want to stress, okay? Um, just keep that in mind. Um, if you haven't done so already, please like. Um, and if you haven't done so Please subscribe. Join this beautiful soul tribe. I'd be truly grateful if you did. Uh, just know that I love you guys. Thank you for all your messages, sharing your stories with me. I'm truly honored. Um, thank you for the support and the love you show me. You are fantastic. You're a beautiful soul tribe, and I, I'm honored to be part of it. Thank you. Let's see what Spirit wants to talk about, because this is kind of interesting to me that somebody would give up their divinity divinity and or their future and or i don't know their soul for something as small inconsequential as a car or a vehicle and take that for whatever it is okay it doesn't have to be an actual vehicle but a means to get somewhere maybe it's money maybe it's i don't know fame we'll see spirit guides guardian angels ancestors the white light what is the message for the collective for today please what would you like to discuss what is this King Richard quote about solitude in reverse? If somebody can't find any solitude, they could, this is the Hermit reverse. Nine, they're not willing to go within and reflect. They're unawakened, unaware. They're hiding and cloaking, possibly. Hmm. I think they're hiding and cloaking from the public. Or it could be wanting to go out in public now. They've been hiding in solitude. Maybe it's your ch chance to, to be seen. That's the overarching energy. Underlying energy at the bottom of the deck is spiritual strength. Nine. Wow. So one cancels out the other. You possibly were in solitude, isolation, doing that soul work, that shadow work, and you're ready. You have a lot of spiritual strength backing you up. Congratulations. Could be an investigation as well. Whatever this is, you were meant for this. Um, I just heard that loud and clear. So congratulations. You have authority. <clears throat> Four is the emperor in tarot. It could be male or female, okay? But it can be a father, just to let you know. Somebody with authority, they can call authority. They have the, the ability to call judgment on somebody. You have spiritual authority, that's for sure. You're mighty here. You have the strength of the universe backing you. You see the halo around his neck. You have divinity. You've accomplished something. You've I don't know, maybe you went through all of the the shadow work and whatnot and you've elevated or you've ascended. Um, this could be a boss, a leader of some sort. I'm picking up a lot of stuff here. There's mental conflict or maybe you were mentally conflicted at one point or somebody else's. Two is the high priestess, male or female, high priest or high priestess. You have a lot of, you have a direct connection with source. <clears throat> you do have authority here. You're very balanced between your dark and your light, masculine and feminine energies. That's what I mean. Don't get the genders mixed up. It could be female. It could be male. It doesn't matter. Um, you're hot. This is a deep knowing. You have a lot of intuition here, okay? Somebody's very conflicted about you, whether you have authority or not, possibly. Maybe you were at one point. Somebody's no longer discontent and bored. Four in reverse, corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. So somebody ab abused their authority. Somebody with divinity and or had authority, whether in the matrix or, you know, in the ethers, did something they shouldn't have done out of greed, out of power, con you know, control. It's a bully. It's a, uh, it's a crooked leader. 
They're trying to shut down your throat chakra, but no, it's wide open. You're speaking your truth. Five, you are here, Finch. You're highly spiritually, um, you're highly spiritually ranked, okay? Somebody's speaking some truths here, you or them. It's one in reverse. That's love begins in reverse. Somebody poured out your cup of love. Um, that's the ace of cups in reverse. Draining people of their, somebody lost their soul. I can't make this up. Hope 17, you have divinity. Somebody with divinity. Somebody's on their north node or they're trying to do something with your soul or make you lose or waste your 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 talents and or your spiritual gifts. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's weird. This is divine intervention as well. It could be on your north node. You have strength and courage here. Uh, it's an eight. And um, integrity, loyalty, and honesty. I just heard something really weird. You're not here to love, although you do love. You're here to get the job done. There's disharmony wherever wherever this person is or you are. Somebody made a poor decision. They could have chosen a karmic over a divine being. Um, that's lovers in reverse. It was a false contract in the ethers, 3D or both. Poor decisions here, okay? You parted ways with karmics. It's a one-sided deal and there's consequences, right? They tried to affect your solar plexus chakra or theirs is. This is chaos here. Three empress in reverse. They wanted power and control over you. This is promiscuousness. This is greed, jealousy, just chaos, just toxic. Another five. We get a lot of fives here, okay, today. <clears throat> Nines and fives. Financial material changes. So some, yeah. This is divorce, a separation. This is higher um, a, a belief system. This is, like I said, you're highly spiritually ranked. Or this is a divine. Somebody was not speaking true. They wanted your destiny. This is one of those stupid people that think they can destiny swap with you, but you can't. They're under, judgment's over. This is harsh judgment now, okay? Lack of awareness. They weren't aware they couldn't do it. Lack of acceptance and, and accountability. Two in reverse doing spell work. Shit talking. Bad counsel. Whoever told these people they could do it, nah, okay? This is karma, not going back. You can't go back. It's already done, okay? This is karma. They wanted your destiny, deception, and envy. So they they move forward with this. Again, this is a chariot. It could be a car. could be a vehicle of some sort. But this is universally driven, okay? This is victory. They can't take your destiny. This is all falling back on them. This is a reversal of fortune, a change of direction, okay? It's karma, no matter how you look at it. You've got to mask them. You saw through the illusions, temptation in reverse. They can't te tempt you or anybody else to work for them or do do for them anymore. Yeah, this is magic here. Awareness, that's the magician. Lack of awareness. You broke free, you detached from them, or people in their circle are now busy detaching from them. They know what's coming. They know what's coming, I think. All that's deception, manipulation, illusions, okay? Two-faced, corrupt. They're not resourceful. They don't have the resources that they have. They're scattered. They're not unfocused. They're trying to get you to be unfocused. It ain't going to happen. You have the authority. And you're going to be standing there going, nah, you're not getting past here. <laughs> now, it could be authorities in the, in the matrix, 3D, and, or spiritual authority. <clears throat> but I think it's both. I think you have the spiritual authority. You got the world on your shoulders. That's what I just heard. Okay, so you're here to do something major. Like I said, I, I definitely heard you're not here to love. I mean, you do love. That's not the, the goal, the end goal. You're here to get the, the job done. So, whoever you are, you're a loving soul, obviously. You have divinity. You, come, you are of the light, but you're also here to kick some asses, I think. Okay? Ain't going to be too pretty for that. Solitude in reverse. Maybe they're disturbing you, your solitude, whoever this is. And you've you've had it. <laughs> you're the type, maybe you're, you know, you give them a chance. I've been there. You give them a chance, you give them a chance, you give them a chance. You forgive, you forgive, you forgive. Until that one time. And you go, you know what? I've had it. <laughs> and that's when the, the lion comes out. You know what I mean? Solitude, nine in reverse. What is the message here, please, Spirit? You tried my patience for the last time. The final time, you know what I mean? Thank you. Dirty offer. Trying to get through that door, your gate, whatever. Trying to get into your 
your energy. <clears throat> They're trying to claw their way through. Obviously, it doesn't look like it's somebody nice, right? Somebody has bad habits, bottom of the deck, drugs, addictions, and toxicity. So somebody could have had divinity at one point. They could have been on a mission here, high, you know, highly spiritually ranked. They fell for the drugs, the addictions, toxicity, the sex, the darkness. Somebody has some legal issues, court judges, immigration, lawyers. They fell for it. Someone's being rejected. Nah. Now, this could be spiritual court as well. Okay? Now, you're not getting past here. You're not coming near this person. This could be your ancestors going, this person ain't coming near you. We're not done kicking ass. Bend over, please. <laughs> Hustling. Making it rain. Focused on money and getting it. So somebody's very greedy here. Somebody's a groupie. I'm taking that. You could be famous. You could be out in the public eye somewhere and somebody's a groupie. And or it's just somebody that follows along. It's a cookie cutter. I got to do what everybody else is doing. You know what I mean? I got to talk like them and I got to go like this with my nails online. And you know what I mean? Tap things. <laughs> Somebody's threatening somebody. Intimidating, threatened, and bothered. <clears throat> you threaten them. Somebody's a broke ass bitch. Male or female. Forcer. So this is somebody that forces themselves onto others. I hope not. And not, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, this is somebody that just doesn't care. They want to fight all the time. See, this person's got the, it's a boxer. They want to spar all the time, right? Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Like the claws here. Forces their way in, either into your energy, into your home, into your sphere, whatever. You're going to be forced back out, that's for sure. Same shit, different day. So if, if they're always on the same, always on the same. Maybe they're constantly saying your name. They always have your name in your mouth. They always have to check in and see what you're doing. Like, what is... I was listening to something earlier, and it struck me. It's like, what is it? It's not anybody's business what you do in your own home, what you do in your life, how you do things. What makes it their business? You know what I mean? Like, they have a lot of hubris, these people. Scarcity tactics. They're playing games here, okay? They want to be king and queen, Oh, I just I want to be part of a, of a power couple. Somebody's got to move. You're moving, they're moving, and or somebody's making a move. Take it for whatever it is. They're cyberbullying you, okay? You're being bullied online or they has suffered from it. So drama starter. You're too busy winning and they're, they're not liking it, okay? Fake accounts, fake profiles. <laughs> Do you know how many I block on a daily basis? Fake social media accounts to spy Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Somebody's into you. Good chemistry, great vibes and positive. They're kissing ass or somebody's kissing ass. Give him money. Give me money. Give me money. That's a thief here. Okay. Rob, lost, theft, physical or emotional. Be careful, okay? <clears throat> they could trying to swindle people online. It could be anything like that. Click this link. No. I don't click links. So... If you do, you're, you're, you're potentially setting yourself up to get, <clears throat> you know, hacked or robbed. Don't click any links, even if you know the person, okay? Sometimes you see it on Facebook where they'll send you a link on Facebook and you click it because it's a, from a friend or an acquaintance or a family member. They got hacked. You, you don't know that. And they don't know it. And next thing you know, you're all hacked. You know what I'm saying? So don't click the links, okay? Keep yourselves safe in that regard. Don't fall for their dirty offers. What's this message here? Solitude in reverse nine. Dirty offer. They're trying to hide a dirty offer. What is this dirty offer? <clears throat> hmm. You know, I could be wrong. But I keep getting, it's in my spam uh, folder in my emails, but I keep getting these offers to collaborate with people, to work with people. You know, and you would think if somebody honestly wants you to work with them, they would give their full names, 
Yes, I checked them out. I checked the company out. I checked their names out. There's no such person in that company. You know what I mean? The the, the way they address me is so un unprofessional. Hey, I love your channel. <laughs> um, what do you think? Get back at me. Give me a shout. It's not like business savvy, I don't think. So it, 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 it raises the alarm bell. So you might be getting some dirty business offers or something. Solitude 9 in reverse. They want to take you out of your element. Dirty offer. I just heard that. They want to take, get you out of your element. You're sleeping too sweetly for them. Satisfaction, comfortable. You're too comfortable for them. They don't like it. Oh, well. You're a professional. What I say, it's not very professional. The emails that I'm, I've been getting for business here. Expertise, omni essence, and talent. You have a lot of talent here. They got, All they have a talent for is theft, <laughs> drugs, Sex, lion, duplicity, some some friendship circle or coven or cult, team connection and network. They're networking. They're networking with one another. This is a, you have a lot of vision here. You have a lot of good ideas or they think their ideas are great. Yeah, this is it. That's their idea. That's how great it is. Right. Ceremony, mystery and magic. So they've been doing some magic on you. It's not affecting you. There's conflict. They were doing conflict spells. Chaos spells, confusion spells. They want you to fight with everybody. Okay? At work, at home, whatever. They want to cause a lot of mayhem in your world. Well, it's back in their world. Somebody coached them to do this. You could be a, um, a life coach. Or they are. Maybe you're... A, it's, it's somebody that's trying to... Um, I can't even think right now. <laughs> They're trying to compete with you. Maybe they're trying to get into your energy to to not do your work. I don't know. Not be as affected or effective. You're not affected, though. You live and learn, right? You've learned your lessons. These people aren't. Experience, training, and development. So your experience and training, I think they're trying to steal from you. They're learning from you. They want to teach. But they don't have the credentials. They don't have the spiritual strength. They haven't went through the lessons you went through to learn these lessons. You have the strength to uphold this work, whatever work it is. These people don't. They're too busy doing this, bad habits. You know what I'm saying? Stop. They're trying to block you. Break, pause, and stagnation. They want you to stagnate. Indulgence. Or they are in stagnation. Interaction, joy, and friendliness. They're collaborating. Okay, it's the power of three. Keep seeing it, right? They want to cause stress in your world. Headache, pressure, lack of sleep. They don't want you to be on your, on your A game. You're ready, though. Preparation, prompt, and arrangement. You've been a lot of it. Get ready for your blessings to come in, okay? You could be a card reader, or they are, and or they want to compete with you. This is faded, okay? Your blessings are coming in. Maybe you are watching um, tarot. Obviously, you are. You're here. Um, you persevered. You overcame. You're able to jump jump over these hurdles, no problem. They put a lot of challenges in your way. Oh, well, surely they can't be as high-ranking as they claim they are. Let's put hurdles in their way. Who the fuck are you to put the hurdles there? This person's got a lot on their plate as, as is doing what they do for the divine. And it's just, it's it's karma. Yeah, you're going to win. You're, you're the winner here, triumph, okay? Success, victory, and, victory and achievement, and gift. You're very gifted. Souvenir promotion and delight. Okay? Your family could be behind it. And or you're working with your family or you're working with families. Okay? Congratulations, whoever you are. You're doing the right thing. Um, it's beautiful. You're sleeping soundly at night. Okay? You don't want that deck? What deck do you want? Okay, thank you. Solitude, nine in reverse. Dirty offer and sweet dreams. That's a 39-12. Try to sacrifice you. You made a lot of sacrifices along the way to be who you are meant to be, obviously, to get to where you need to go. They're trying to hold you back. They want you struggling, wasting time. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get you off your path. Thank you. Maybe they're offering you a horse for your kingdom. Bunch of boneheads. <laughs> Maybe you're dealing with somebody with the name uh, Richard Dick. Oh, they're dickheads. Okay, I get it. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. 
Congratulations. Or they're trying to get you into a business proposition. It's not so good. You have to think about it, okay? Or if somebody's pregnant, congratulations. Camel bottom of the deck. Persevering, you will overcome problems. And you have, okay? You're just walking right past these idiots. So we have dragon. Beware of self-delusion. So they might come towards you with all kinds of beautiful things they're offering you. Don't fall for it. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Because they're, they're trying to feed you a lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, good advice from a wise person. Either this is you, a wise person, and or you have somebody in your energy that can offer you some advice, or they want your advice. Take it for whatever it is, okay? Door. Opportunities are waiting for you, okay? That door's about to open for you and close for them. Unicorn, you're a rare person, okay? You have rare talents. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. I think that's what is what you're doing here. Hills, obstacles to overcome. So they're trying to put obstacles in your way. They know whoever this is, if you are, um, obviously, you're highly spiritually ranked, and you, you have a mission. We all do. You have a purpose, they're trying to get you off path. But I think you're already on your north node. Correct me if I'm wrong. And once you're on your north node, they can't do nothing about it. Vultures, right? Depression, anxiety, worry that someone's against you. That's what they want you to feel. They could be sending you chaos and conflict spells. They want you afraid. They want to uh, bring down your, your vibes, okay? Your, your energy so they can get, so this magic would work even better. The only thing I can tell you is fear is only fear. There's nothing to fear. No one can touch you. No one can do anything against your will. But if you're vibing low, okay, it could seem like that. It's all illusion, okay? So happiness is right around the corner or right now. Congratulations. Bags, something important such as a new job or a raise. And wealth. You're coming into a great deal of wealth. Sorrow over a loss. Or, sorry, I said wealth. It's wreath. Oh, boy. So somebody wanted to take you out for this bag. Hmm. Somebody could be leaving the world. They did too much uh, spell work on you. Cat, a two-faced friend. Heart. Love, deep affection, and caring. They know you're a caring person. Flowers. You're good at happiness again, okay? So you're getting your flowers. Someone's not. Kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead and broom. New home and new attitude. Yeah. Somebody it has something to do with this inheritance, okay, because it's a casket yet again. It has something to do with homes, money, spiritual uh, abundance here, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So it could be the end of the situation. Something to do with October. They could have tried to sacrifice you on Halloween. Okay. It's, it's that time, six months ago or thereabouts or their birthdays in October. Waiting for news and package. So they're waiting for you to keel over so they can get whatever it is they want. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important and a period of ill health and depression. So they're going through it. They're muddled, unclear thinking. Okay? They can't see the forest through the trees. Dragon. I want to be a dragon. Don't want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 da. So they're probably going around saying, because you're highly spiritually ranked and you're spiritual in one way or another, Oh, this person's self delu They're delusional. They're crazy. We must take care of their money. <laughs> Good for you. How's that working out for you, by the way? What deck do you want me to use, please, Spirit? Sorry, I just got to grab a deck. Which one? Which one? Thank you. I wasn't ready there. I didn't take this one out. But I did cleanse it, so... Solitude, nine in reverse, dirty offer, sweet dreams, 39, and stork. So something's getting, going to be brought to you, <laughs> whether it's, you know, a baby, or it's a new, uh, a new beginning, a new, a new business, uh, you're starting, you're birthing something new, okay? You could be a divine feminine, male or female, doesn't matter, typically it's a divine feminine that births something new out of, out of, you know, because they're creative and artistic, a humanitarian, a philanthropist. They're divinely protected. They're very creative, by the way. They make do, you know what I mean? You've had some periods of austerity in your life. Divines always do, hardships. And they make the best of it. You know what I mean? They always think, well, it could be worse. <laughs> it most certainly could be worse. Okay, so be, be grateful for what you do have. What's the message, please, Spirit? They want in. They want in. Give, 
Let me come in. This is a person that uh, is hiding and cloaking so much. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. So your ships could be coming in, three of wands in the upright. You've turned your back on whoever this is. You're moving forward. You're expanding your horizons. You could be traveling at, at a distance, possibly. You're prepared and or preparing for something. This could also be their plotting and planning against you. It could be family because, you know, the umbilical cord. They tr could have tried to cord you, attach things to you, bind you. I don't know, take it for whatever it is. Ooh, Queen of Wands, first, first card up in the reverse. Somebody's very jelly, jelly of you, using sex to get their way or sexual wiles, or they accuse you of it. They're definitely jealous, um, abusive, hateful, spiteful, angry. Um, could be doing some black magic there, a little, uh, yeah, witchy witchies. There's two witchies here. Black magic, talking mean, they're talking shit. Bad counsel. So somebody is coaching this person how to do magic and it's bad counsel. That's what I'm getting. They could have hired a practitioner. <laughs> Poor counsel. Seekers are now coming out. Yep, the worst has happened. This is a nightmare. It's a backfire. What can we do? It's a backfire. Or, on the other hand, and this could be you. You're unaffected. You're unworried. You're, you're unbothered here. No worry. Nine of swords in reverse. Ace of wands in reverse. Blockages. No new, uh, no new, they don't want, they're trying to block you. They're trying to block any new beginnings, new passionate op opportunities or growth or expansion in your world. They don't want you taking action. Wheel of Fortune, they're trying to block your destiny. They're the stupid destiny swapper. Okay, they're getting karma. I can't make this up. Okay, my kingdom for a horse. This, they caused a lot of stagnation, delays, or set, uh, setbacks. So they thought. It's a reversal of fortune, right? They're, they're getting hit hard by karma. They wanted you to go through another karmic cycle with them, whoever this is. It could be a total stranger, for all I know. They're getting karma here. Ooh, speaking truth, seeing the truth. Coming out of denial here. They can't deny this. It's undeniable. Somebody's going through some karma. It's all coming back on them. They wanted your destiny. That's a big F and no. So you misguided you. Not at once in reverse. They felt entitled to this. They're trying to hold back. They're holding back your destiny. They're trying to hold back. <laughs> Doing one, one, one spell after another. Uh, this is somebody that's angry. They're confrontational. They're very argumentative. They take credit for your work, ideas, and achievements. Supposer, a player. Could be a player energy. Somebody that calls it in, though. They want the kudos. They want the clout. They want the recognition for your work. But they're they're calling it in, right? They're just taking your work. That could be it as well. They feel very entitled. It could be somebody that's trying to impersonate you and or forged. Yeah, they're trying to hide and cloak something. They're not awake and they're not, awake and they're not aware. There's a family, a home, property, stability. A, they lost a twin flame. That could be it. My horse for uh, my kingdom for a horse. They're homeless and or they're unstable. I'm trying to hide this. They don't want to be scrutinized. They don't want anybody to know what they've done. They blocked their own destiny, if you ask me. Well, that flipped over. Yeah. Six of cups in reverse. unrequited love they gave all false information about you it's a lot of trauma trauma bonding inner childhood wounding you're not going back to the past or they're living in the past they lost a child here they can't sacrifice you so maybe they lost one of their own i'm so sorry if that happened this is a illu uh, illumination letting go and letting god this is your past this could be family you have no good memories here okay you let you let them go if that's the case um, somebody who's giving out false information or this is the person coaching them gave them false information and they're realizing it. Take it for whatever it is. Time is up. There's a time frame on these things, right? I would imagine anyways. You're not, you're not bound. You're not struggling. You let this go. You're unbothered. You overcame everything they tried to throw your way. Um, this person needs to look at things from a different perspective like you did. Now they're acting like a martyr. Yeah, page of swords because they lied. 
you know, they spread rumor, gossip, and slander. They were very jealous of you. They were petty and they were cruel. Sab Self-sabotage, if you ask me. This is not good news. This could be a lot of abuse going on here. Oh, boy. Targeting people. Now it's in the reverse. Three of Wands in reverse. Not going anywhere. They didn't foresee this. If they had the gift of sight, they lost it. They didn't want you moving on. They didn't want your ships coming in. They didn't want to let go. It didn't serve. If it, if it was somebody that's non-committal, they're not committal, but they don't want to be alone. They always thought they can come back to you because maybe you're, you know, related. Like, like they, they said, the umbilical cord or, I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. They didn't foresee this. The plans are falling through. They, they're not prepared for this. Take it for whatever it is. Okay. Liar, liar, pets on fire. Okay. They could be stalking you at the moment, and you know exactly who's stalking you. Yeah, it's family. A group. Hmm. They were all celebrating it and happy to do all of this stuff, right? All these lies fell on everybody else's ears in the group or in the family, and they loved it. Hmm. Eight of Swords. Until you let them go. You're unencumbered. You're, you're unaffected. You don't care. You let this go. You removed all obstacles in your way. They can't restrict you any longer. You let go of the family or this group or somebody let go of this person. Take it for whatever it is. They're not renting space in your head. You're highly spiritually ranked. Wow. Or you release this relationship, this co contract of some sort. Going to court. Dealing with institutions. You have this empress. Wow. She's looking back going, ah, see, I wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> Highly sp spiritually ranked. You're, this is the divine protecting you, or the courts are protecting you, or an institution's protecting This is a belief system as well. You let it all go. Yeah. Someone followed another out into the cold. That's what I, they want the Empress to be in lack and 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 um, loss, to go into poverty. And they were watching you because we all had periods periods of austerity in our lives, and they were the cause behind it. And they loved every minute of it. They were watching you as you were trying to struggle, trying to get back onto your feet. Their doors were closed to you, though. No, sorry. See the door on this one? The door is closed. No, you can't come in here. I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to feed you. I'm not going to, um, you know, console you. Yeah, there's devil energy. Psh. Damn. They could have, if this is the inheritance, they could have said, oh, that has handled their, this person's money because they're doing drugs and alcohol. They'll, they're wasting this money. That was left to them on drugs and alcohol and, uh, and ne'er-do-wells. Uh, meanwhile, it was them. Meanwhile, you were struggling. They were living off your money. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of bozos. This could be somebody coming towards... You could be the empress, male or female. Somebody could, could be coming towards your home because they're going through a rough time financially. The door's going to be closed. You know, you can't expect somebody to always be there and give, 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 and you don't give them nothing but hard times. You don't contribute anything to their lives but hard times in this bullshit. So don't, you know, if you're planning on going towards somebody to help you that you've never been there to help, you're always there hindering, turn around and leave. Don't even think about, it, okay? That door is not going to open for you. Yeah. It's king of wands here. Somebody is a leader, male or female. Yeah, it could be somebody that was making a decision, balancing things out. Possibly you could be in alignment for something or they're ma making a head over heart decision. They're weighing options here. Somebody could have been juggling you and or your money. We'll see if this is a good king of wands or not. This is a, it looks like a father figure with kids around him. They wanted you left out of something. Yeah, this is a home. They sold a home, stole a home, mortgage fraud, or they lost their twin. Party's over. Non-committal. They could have said you were homeless. They wanted you homeless. Oh, boy. They wanted you gone. Could have been a near death as well. They made you a scapegoat to practitioners, 
covens, secret societies to your community, whatever community you're part of or your family. All illusions here, okay? They could have bribed people. I'm picking up this as the inheritance or something to do with money, okay? Or whatever. This is all illusions. Hopeful, wishful thinking. They could have tempted and bribed people to do this. See, in this photo, you ended a cycle with these people because you knew exactly what they were doing. See, in this photo, this is an artist. It's got two faces, by the way, okay? And they're drawing a picture of a fish with a face from these cups. So they painted a very different picture of who you truly are to other people or to the courts or to institutions or amongst this family or this group, okay? A lot of confusion about who you truly are. People believing the gossip and the hype. Yeah, it's a lover's this contract. That kind of fell out. I'll put it back in. So I have multiple options. They could have said you have multiple options in a relationship. I don't know. Judgment. They're under judgment. There's awareness. They have to take accountability. They might want a second chance with you. They wanted you part of their harem. Fuck you. Sorry, not sorry. Okay? They're under divine judgment. If it's a court or an institution involved, a, de a, de a decision's been rendered. They want you to help them somehow. That's hopeful, wishful thinking. They didn't share that much love or emotion with you. Okay, see how sh she's got the biggest cup. Typically, in a, a, any deck, the Queen of Cups, male or female, has the biggest cup of love to give. Uh, very loving, nurturing, kind, sweet, compassionate, and, and empathetic. Emotionally balanced, stable, and mature. Highly intuitive and psychic. Okay? Sweet and kind. Um, is a great deal of love. Unconditional love. But this person, you, has given so much love out that you're not giving any more out to these people. The undeserving. Okay? You're saving it for yourself or for those who merit it. Or this could be Awareness that somebody in the equation was trying to pass themselves off as loving, kind, nurturing, um, sweet and kind, emotionally balanced and stable. Yeah, and they're not. They don't want you coming into your wish fulfillment or they're not coming into theirs. They thought you weren't on your north node. Something's happening quickly. Fast communication, fast action. They could be sick. They're feeling ashamed of themselves. This isn't wish fulfillment. Losing hope here. Yeah, they're scared. They did something they shouldn't have done. So they could have been involved in trying to sacrifice you or trying to steal your, your destiny. They're scared here. They lost control of their <laughs> of themselves. They don't they're not in control. They lost their divinity. They had no faith and they're not spiritually protected. So I knew I was getting a weird feeling from this one. So this one never spared you an ounce of fucking consideration, kindness, or love. Male or female. They're just putting on an act. Or this is what they said about you, and you're actually very loving. It could be both, actually. Yeah, they underestimated you. It has something to do with an investment. You invested in yourself. They're scared here. Something to do with an investment. They underestimated you. They, yeah, they're drawing blood here, okay, out of this tree. This is a family tree, maybe. Maybe they've already spilt blood in this family, and they were coming after you. Their target was you, but somebody else got targeted, or somebody else got hurt, or worse. There's proof and evidence of something. Yeah, they were spreading egregious gossip. Part of a coven, a cult, secret society. You parted ways with them. It's not going anywhere, whoever this is. You can't trust these people or this person, okay? They could be out there drinking and partying and talking shit about you too, okay? There's proof and evidence of something going down. Two, uh, this is four, four pentacles. You let them go, you you distanced yourself, you detached. Um, somebody's unstable and insecure, right on top of the Queen of Cups, so I knew it was her. It was all about money. Greedy and selfish, your wish fulfillment, spiritual gifts and or wish fulfillment, material gain, lies, lies, lies. So somebody got paid to lie about you, they were greedy and selfish. It's all about spiritual gifts as well. They conjured up something that they can't deal with. Um, you're not speaking to them. They lied. There's been no clarity. No truth. They're heartbroken. They can't talk to you about it, maybe. How do I get rid of whatever I summoned? Well, you can't, okay? It's over. Whatever this is, it's over. They want your protection, but you've moved on, okay? 
They lied. Oh, they were also doing shut up spells because you could be online. They were doing, sh see, the thorny vine wrapped around that sword. They don't want you to talk about it. Wow. So they, do, they were trying to do some shut up spells. I just went back on them. Somebody's heartbroken. They have to pay something back. They have to pay you. I don't know. They were going after monies. Wish fulfillment. Conjuring up a, a gin or a genie. They were very selfish. Yeah, let go. They have to let go. Seven of Wands. Oh, no. They made accusations about you that weren't true. They were unfounded. They're heartbroken. Oh, this is going to break your heart when you find out what they said. I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. You don't, you're not fighting with them. They're open to... Oh, thank you, Spirit. They're open to spiritual attack. They're not protected. They're feeling defeated and overwhelmed. They can't block you. Ooh, this is corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. They were power hungry. Okay? Controlling a bully. This is bull bullshit. Infamous. Male or female doesn't matter. This is a, a crooked leader. Bending to public pressure, worried about their image. They knew what they were doing was wrong, but they did it anyway. It was for, for gain, for ego. You know, they were arrogant. Oh, yeah, sure, I can do this. They compromise people, you know what I mean? Temperance in reverse. Uh, corruption. Maybe they said they can't block you. Somebody's unstable. They're sick. They're scared. Fallen angel. I don't know what this is. They have addictions themselves. They are obsessions, going to extremes, inappropriate behavior. This is disaster, okay? Somebody's very, very impatient. Maybe they're working with an emperor. Somebody's very, very impatient about something. Um, no conflict resolution, no re res reconciliation. No peace, harmony, or contentment. Yeah, whatever this was, was, was not balanced. It wasn't right. They can't balance out this inheritance. This is family discord. They're steal stealing money, losing long-term stability of some sort. Let us take care of this inheritance because they're they're drinking and doing drugs and whoring around and they're homeless and we don't know where they are. Meanwhile, you just, you know, spoke to them and they just heart liked everything on your fucking platform. You know what I mean? They're sick and dying or they're dead. I don't know. You could have said anything. Okay. Whatever it is, it's not ma measuring up. It's not balanced. Yeah. Somebody's king of pentacles in the upright, male or female. This could be you or someone else. Let's see which way it's going. There's going to be some communication here. Which way is this going? So somebody's making money off of, off of substance abuse, if you know what I'm saying. Plotting and planning. Your ships are coming in. Somebody's plotting and planning what? King of Pentacles in the upright and three of wands. Why is this here, please? This is your ships are coming in. This could be you. Somebody at a distance. Three of Pentacles. All right. King of Pentacles. Who's this King of Pentacles here? Has a crush on you. Father, child, plotting and planning. Somebody's innocent, sweet and kind, starting something new. Somebody's flirting. Flirting? I don't know. Somebody at a distance. You turned your back on them. You could have said you're involved, involved in corruption, vice, you know, moving stuff around, children, whatever. I don't know. Somebody lied. They, somebody got caught and they have to come clean. I knew that I was getting a funny feeling out, out of that. It could just be that you're stable and secure. You're hardworking. You're a business owner. You're down to earth. You're grounded. You're um, successful. You're generous. You're loyal. You're um, dedicated, committed. You pay your bills on time. You're not going without. You don't have to be super rich, but you don't, you know. Somebody is associated with this. They were plotting and planning something. To apologize. Come clean. Yeah, it's a false contract. Ending a collaboration or a third-party situation. Somebody's lazy. They don't want to put the work in. Very disrespectful. Someone's not cooperating anymore. I think somebody wants to come towards you and tell you the truth as to what was being said and done. Balance things out with you. He's in the upright. I say he could be a she. Okay. There's going to be fast communication, fast action here, or travel. And somebody's trying to cut down this communication. 
Meanwhile, they're trying to cut down this communication. There's another means of communication coming through to you. It could be spiritual. It could be anyway. Okay. You're getting your, you're getting the message no matter what. Yeah. Somebody lied. They, um, maybe while they're communicating with you, you're going to get a download or some information from your spirit team that this person's lying to you. Narcissistic. They use and abuse or cold calculating and cruel or to remain quiet. Turn, turn your back on them and remain cold against them. I don't know what this is. You're out in the public eye. They're trying to shut, shut you down. This is victory, success, reward, recognition. It looks like somebody's coming towards you. They're all coming after you. You're balanced. 6-6, six, six, by the way. They have to balance something out with you. But just notice, be careful of this King of Pentacles. I'm getting a weird feeling from this King of Pentacles. He'll come in but give you just half the story and only give you a pentacle out of the six and keep five for himself. Okay? He looks down his nose at you and he'll call that fair. <laughs> wow. Be careful. Okay? Yeah. King of Swords in reverse. A liar. He popped out again, so it could be an arc you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. Definitely lying for sure. They're just abusing their their authority, abusing their, this position or this opportunity. Yeah, you're gonna see through it. Detached. That's what it is. You're not caught. Maybe they're trying to s s communicate with you, try to sell you. I, I, they could have said that you were doing drugs and alcohol on, on public record or publicly. You know you're going to sue these assholes, right? I hope you do. It's all been lies, but somebody's seen through the illusions here. Knight of Swords, a crime. They want to involve you in a crime, or they said you were involved in crime. They're putting other people at risk here. This is somebody that's really reckless. They don't give a shit, okay? You're going to just detach. Okay, detach. They're trying to set you up for something. Yeah, they keep doing something over and over again. It doesn't have to be drugs. It's spell work, right? Something says blowback. It's all coming back on them. They kept doing something over and over and over again. Didn't want to learn a lesson. This is not over. It's unfinished business. You, They know you know. It's conscious awareness here. You have all the tools you need. You're co-creating with the divine and you're manifesting something new. They want back in for some reason. So this King of Swords, King of Cups, uh, King of Pentacles in the upright, King of Swords in reverse, I think it's the same person. They want to come back into your energy for some reason. It, they're blocked. It's a no-go. Okay? If you're online and being seen online or anything like that, they're trying to get you to... You're going to see right through it. They're trying to get you to not be online. They're trying to block you. They're not happy with whatever you're saying. They're sick. They're, there's a lot of hidden. That's still hidden here. Okay. So if they come towards you and they say, this is the God's honest truth. They're giving you just half the story. Not even. And they're glossing over their part in it. Okay. They want to look squeaky clean for some reason. Don't take it out on me. Just, yeah. Let me, allow me back into your energy so I can, you know. I won't die. I won't lose my soul. Yeah. My kingdom for a horse. I don't think so. Yeah, you know, they're reckless, careless, and foolish. They think you're naive. Okay? They don't want you having a new beginning. This is a, a love bomber. Okay? They're doing spell work. They're going to do spell work on you first before they come in. To try to make you more amenable. More, more, you know, less on your guard. That they, their, their uh, lies will work, be more effective. Okay? It's a tower moment. Bye. <laughs> they give, they're not going to get away with this. They can't even come near you. They're blocked. I think that every time somebody tries to come near you, something bad happens to them. Either they get in a car accident, their car blows up, or they get arrested for some reason, or they get sick. Yeah. You are the master magician after all. You are co-creating with the divine. You're going to be taking action out. Whatever actions they're going to take, you consciously know they want you to stop working. Whatever they've been doing is not working. They're going to lose their job. Yeah, it's a lot of gaslighting, mind games, power plays. You know what this is. You're not going to engage. Congratulations. Yep. King of Cups in reverse. It's malicious. It's ruthless. It's emotional manipulation, emotional they're not emotionally available. 
they're very emotionally immature. They could be drinking or coming towards you drunk. Bad move. Sick, drunk. They think that you won't know. You know, a little bit of liquid courage. Or they're just fucking malicious. Dangerous. Be careful, okay? Male or female, doesn't matter. They're in their emotions. Yeah, because they can't come near you. And they're having money problems here. They can't get away with this. They're in debt. They're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. They can't play games with you anymore. They dropped the ball on this. They showed you no love, no mercy, no compassion. They've lost their soul because of the spell work. And they're scared. They drained your love out by playing. By playing. See the marionettes? So they're being controlled by something otherworldly. And it's not the divine. You instinctively know that. They want to say, dance, monkey, dance. They want to be the one pulling the strings. Nah, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They paid for this bullshit. They have to own up to it. They're scared. They're sick. This is a nightmare for them. You let them go. They can't bring your vibes down. Okay? They can't bring your guard down. They can't block you. They're angry. They're scared. Nine, nine of wands in reverse. They're angry that you're not scared. You know your value and your worth. You parted ways with these people for a reason. There's spilled blood there, okay? Someone's being chastised. Wow. They're grieving and regretting what they've done. They're sick. They're not happy. They're not happy outcome. I don't care. You know? What do you expect? You do this kind of stuff to people. What do you expect? They don't want to go in and do that soul work. Maybe they're going to claim that they did. No, they didn't, okay? They don't want to be investigated. They don't want to be scrutinized. They're hiding from public, possibly. This is somebody that's not awake and not aware. Or they think you're not awake and not aware. Bullshit, okay? They're hiding and cloaking a lot, okay? Or maybe they're going to accuse you of hiding and cloaking your spiritual strength. Well, it's not for anybody to know. Nine, nine. So one can cancels out the other. I don't know. They're going to say, you didn't do that soul work. Yeah, you did. Why now? Why now? You could be at a certain age. You know what I mean? Why didn't we see this before? Because it was slated to come out at a certain time. There is an investigation, by the way. They wanted to try to see. They were trying your uh, abilities so they can see if they could swap uh, destinies with you. Who are you to test this person? Who are you to test this person? You're not God. So the trying to give come in and give you a dirty offer if they have they're trying to get into either your vessel your home your energy they got bad habits drugs addictions toxicity maybe they're sending you um addiction spells as well to get you to lower your vibe because they need you gone they want your destiny they need you gone do you understand what i'm saying be careful you're sleeping sweetly here you're unaffected okay um, they're strung up, those 39s, 12. They tried to sacrifice you. I think if they can pull off the sacrifice and take what they want from you, they're going to sleep. They think they're going to sleep nicely. No, they're never going to sleep nicely again. Something to do with your profession. You're an expert, omniscience, and very talented. Maybe they're trying to impersonate you. They can't be you, okay? So, Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. They might be coming... to trying to get into your energy by offering you a business opportunity be careful always do your homework okay if they're rushing you to sign some papers it's a one-time deal if you don't take it now it's gone off the table then it's not for you they should give you enough time to look into it call lawyers whatever you have to do overlook a contract you know what i'm saying they'll give you their full name you know you'll be able to call the 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 company and see that yes they do work there that is the job they hold you know a headhunter of some sort camel persevering you'll overcome the problems and i think you have so congratulations don't fall for anybody's bullshit please it sounds like they're bullshit artists they've been doing this over and over again they, they you're the challenge maybe they got away with this in the past but you're the challenge. You are the block to them. Your spiritual strength outweighs all of them combined. Okay? Congratulations. So you were placed in, right on their path for a reason. You were bait. They fell for it. The divine has taken them out now. And I don't mean for dinner. Okay? How are we ending the read, please, spirit? Keep your dirty offers. Serendipity in reverse. The truth is coming out. It's 18. It's the moon. They got to face their fears. Okay? They thought you were just lucky. You're not lucky. You're blessed. Okay. You know what you're doing. A leg up. Now they want help. Give me a leg up, please. Can you carry me? 
34, that's seven. This is um, a leg up from the universe for you. This is universally driven. This is victory. You're moving forward. They have to take accountability. They have to radically accept. They are the ones that brought this into their world, not you. They could be blaming you for all this stuff that's happening in their world, but they're the ones who brought it into their world. You did nothing. You're moving forward. You're leaving them behind. This is victory. This is success. Bringing back balance to a situation. You have directions. You have structure. You have discipline. And you overcame a lot. They put you through a lot. And they still think they want to blame you? Yeah, I don't think so. Mending. They want to mend things now. Seven, seven. Wow. You're moving forward. I want again. You know what I mean? Mending. They want to fix what they broke. They think they still can. Hey, community is behind it. Or you have a new community behind you. Take it for whatever it is. Somebody wanted to have power and strength over this, control this community. There's parrots. I, whenever I see this, there is, people in this community were repeating gossip that, that was untrue. Could be somebody living in a hotel or a motel as well, looking down their nose at you. Could be a, a, a parent and a child living in a hotel. Now they're stuck. You got to move. Take it for whatever it is. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You had strength and, and, and courage and fortitude and resilience. And they just wanted power and control. That's all they wanted. Lust. Maybe they're lustful as well. Maybe they wound up in a hotel room with a, a young person, if you know what I'm saying. And they got caught. I, I'm just saying. The giraffes are cute. I know. I'm not putting them down. TikTok. Time is up. Their time is up. Okay? This is chaos here. Three in reverse. They wanted power of attorney over you. Power and control over you. They tried to devalue an empress. A divine feminine and or they're chaotic. They try to doppelgang you, right? Oh, I'm going to be this person. Let's just get rid of them so I can be them. I can be them better than they can be them. I fucking think so. These people are so... Mm, serendipity in reverse. The protection message. Perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one, quote unquote. Yet it all fell apart. Consider this, sometimes synchronicity and serendipity come together to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. Don't get caught up in the drama of disappointment. There really is a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you to where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. They are communicating with you, whomever this is, okay? It could be for you, it could be for them. Take it for whatever it is. Eat or new. Everybody's different here. Everybody's got different situations going on. So we have 34. Come on. So we have a leg up. Receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. Hmm. Delegating authority. Uh, you've come to a point where... It, pardon me. You've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during the next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. So if you've always been self-sufficient, independent, and yeah, that's a, a, a trauma response. Because everybody you've ever asked for help from in the past have always let you down. I get it. But now is the time to open up. And trust, okay? Ask for help and expect it. Don't him and haw. Just say, hey, can you help me move? Can you help me do this? Can you help me do that? Okay? The Spirit's here to help you. And they're bringing the people and the opportunities into your world to show you that. Because you have to be able to ask for help. You have to be able to say, you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to be doing this anymore. Taking care of everything and everyone and overdoing myself. You know, like put myself making me stressed out so trust and believe somebody a community might be coming in to help okay so whatever this is okay uh these people are getting taken care of and maybe these people in the manner they're going to be taken care of whether it's through courts whether it's through karma both whatever they're here to help you okay 52 mending forgiveness making amends healing after arguments each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding integration and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. 
This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal, the pain, the memories, the echoes of resentment, and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. That could be for you or for them. Okay. Maybe some people are that went along with it fell for it. You know what I mean? And now they're realizing the error of their ways. Um, the the lesson here is don't listen to uh, to gossip and don't jump jump on hate trains. You know what I mean? Talk to the person. If you haven't seen the person do certain things, even if you're dead, you don't do that. You know what I mean? You leave people alone. If they're not for you, they're not for you. You walk away. You don't fucking do spell work against people. You don't try to steal from them. You don't try to fucking take their soul or destinies. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's soul and destiny is unique. Um, it is what it is. I don't know who. This is poor counsel here. Whoever told you, whatever spiritualist told you, you could take somebody's destiny or delay it. We're always where we, sh we should be. Okay? So you're not delaying jack shit. I don't know. There's just a lot of hubris. Ignorance. Do your homework, people. Phases. Shine even when you're not whole. So, this is phases that you had to go through to learn to elevate. Okay, ascend. The sun. Rise to the occasion, and you are. Okay? Replenish. The sun will rise, and we will try again. So, even if you fall flat on your face, whatever you're trying to do in life, that's okay. Get back up again. Don't feel ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Get back up again. And I don't mean doing this stupid spell work okay but doing better um you know all the movers and shakers in the world they've they, what makes them unique what made them win at the end of the day you know get on their path is they refuse to give up the divine made me in a way where i don't know how to give up i'm very tenacious <laughs> i used to think it was a bad thing but now i'm looking back i know that wasn't so bad but um if you don't complete what you're supposed to do today that's fine there's always tomorrow right you're always where you're supposed to be okay the dark take a moment to sit under the star speckled sky listening to crickets and breathing in the cool night air so getting outside day and night is good for you okay it's the quietness maybe you can't quiet your mind maybe solitude you can't find any place to be alone you know Maybe go sit outside for 15 minutes and look at the stars, look at the moon, um, talk to God, talk to yourself, talk to your higher being, whatever. Right? Morning star. Keep shining even when the others have quit. Singularity. You are your own sun, moon, and stars. So stop looking at other people or other things that to make you happy, to make you feel complete in this world. You have everything you need for that within you. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's your life. It's your experience. It's your feelings. It's your soul. You're the one living it, breathing it, interpreting it. Because everybody interprets life differently. Why are you going to live somebody else's life or according to somebody else's rules and regulations? Tell them to go themselves, right? I'm saying like bad things, okay? Yes, we have laws man-made as well as spiritual. We do have to adhere to, but... If somebody's trying to make you do something against your will, stuff like this, going up against people, people didn't do anything to you. They didn't harm you. They didn't take away from you. This is mis misperceived guidance here. Ah, oh, well, they looked at me funny. Let's, let's take their destiny away from them. Let's take their soul away from them. Please, please, hurry, hurry. My, my kingdom for a horse. <laughs> okay, Richard, sit yourself down, okay? If I can think about what you've just done. Anyways, I hope you like the read. Until next time, take care.